Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna be taking a look at an email that I received requesting a simulation for a six mile point to point link in what's known as Amish country here in the United States. And by Amish country, we just mean a place in the United States where Amish folks typically live. It's very rural, and this is typically like the Eastern Ohio, Western Pennsylvania area of United States. So let's take a look at this email that came in from C. Beachy. Hello, Chris. First of all, thank you for your videos. I was able to watch your videos and set up a point to multi point at my home. Excellent. I'm glad you were. I just finished watching Backyard Point to Multi Point. I wanted to know if you could give some guidance to our family business about an internet issue. We have two sites where we conduct business. The Berlin location has access to Spectrum Business Internet. The Weinsberg location, where the majority of the business is run, only has DSL available. So this is a pretty common scenario. You've got two areas that are relatively close to each other. One has great internet, one does not have great internet. How can we possibly get them to share the great internet? Even with multiple DSL lines coming in for the internet, the speeds are, so, are slow and the cost for DSL is much higher than Spectrum. We would like to know if it's possible, and if so, what would you recommend in order to provide service from our Berlin location to our Weinsberg location, separated by 6.03 miles in the rolling hills of Amish country, Ohio? The main use would be for, uh, for the internet, but if VoIP could be supported, that would be beneficial as well. Now he included a map, which is great, uh, but even better than a map are actual coordinates, which he also included. Uh, your first question, rightfully so, is whether there is line of sight. Honestly, not sure. I have reviewed a lot of your videos and others on YouTube, and it seems like there is a way to use Google Earth for line of sight, but I don't know how to do that. Here are the points if you want to check it out. And again, thank you for your time and videos. Okay, so let's take a look and see if we can't figure out whether or not this six mile point to point link is possible. So here we have uh, the area of the United States that we're talking about, right? So this is Eastern Ohio, Western Pennsylvania. We're gonna zoom in and take a look at this link. I already set it up in the uh, air link, which is link.ui.com if you guys are interested in doing the same. And here we can see the city of Berlin, the city of Weinsberg, and if we zoom in further, we can see this six mile point to point link which is also just under 10 kilometers for those folks outside the US that aren't using our crazy imperial system. Okay, so is this possible, right? So what do we have here? We have two points on the map. That's the first thing that I did. And by default, it's gonna uh, give us air fiber 5X HD devices. So one here, one here. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on each side. So the good internet is over here at the Berlin location. So let's zoom in here. And here we can see the building. Now, this is so rural that I was not able to find a Google Street View of this area. Apparently, they did not send the Google trucks uh, down this road here. So, it looks to me, though, like it's a pretty standard building. Here we have what looks like a big rig parked up, so there might be a loading dock or something over here, uh, a regular sized roof or a regular pitched roof, it looks like. So, my guess on this side, if you wanted to put the uh, air link or the air fiber device on this side, you're looking at probably about uh, 30 feet in the air, which is about 12 meters, excuse me, about nine meters. So about nine meters in the air is where I placed this device. And you could probably get the device, just my guess is you could probably get the device up to about maybe 40 feet if you sort of added a little bit of extra height with a pole on top of this roof or something, you could probably get it up to about 40 feet, again, Total guess on my part, but we're just gonna go with that. So we'll say 40 feet, which is 12 meters on this side. And then let's go ahead and look at the other side. So here's the Weinsberg location. And it's a very similar building, right? So it looks to be about the same size. You can tell that it's maybe a, a one-story building with a sort of taller attic space or roof, uh, maybe a little bit higher than that. But again, I put it on the corner here because we have this building which might be in the way. This building looks to be a little bit taller than the building where they want to put the uh, access point. And so I put it right on the edge, at the highest point of the roof on the edge, it looks like it should just miss this building here. Okay, so will this link work? Let's take a look. Now keep in mind that this is the sort of rolling hills as we call it. So there's probably, it's hard to tell on the map, but there's probably a lot of hills in between point A and point B. Do they have line of sight? Let's take a look. And as you can see here, they do not have line of sight. So again, 
On the Weinsberg side, we have 12 meter device height. That's about 40 feet. On the other side, which is Berlin, I'll name it here. Uh, we also have about 40 feet of height. Using the five gigahertz uh, Air Fiber 5X HD, you can see all of these red points here are where we are hitting obstructions. So there are just too many obstructions in the way for this link to work, or at least for this link to work very easily, where you have just a small pole on top of each of those buildings. Um, if you drop it down to 900 megahertz, sometimes you can get line of sight through sort of a little bit more crowded of an area or if there is not perfect line of sight. So let's take a look at that as well. We'll go with the Rocket M900 on both sides. And again, same thing, we're hitting way too many obstructions. This is just not going to work. So the question then becomes, what would you need to do to make this work? And of course, the more height you can get out of those access points on both the, uh, the access point and the station side of the point to point link, the better off you're going to be. So how high do we need to go? Let's take a look. If I start bumping up the device height here, let's go up to say 30 meters which is just about 100 feet. So I did 30 meters on the Weinsberg side. Let me do 30 meters over here on the Berlin side. And you can see these red dots here are sort of starting to go away. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, boom. And so right almost exactly at 100 feet with the, well, let's change back to our five gigahertz antenna. So with the air fibers at 100 feet up in the air, you can get a signal, okay? So you'd have to have towers, 100 foot towers on both sides, and then you can get a, looks like 100% signal strength with about estimated 240 megabits per second between these two links. Uh, if you went up even higher, say like 120 feet, which would be about 36 meters, uh, I would probably just get the extra height just to be safe, right? Because this is just a simulation and I would not, base my actual install, if you were gonna be buying towers and putting them up, I wouldn't base my actual install on this simulation. I would want to build in a little bit of extra height just to make sure that we're clearing any of those hills. So we're gonna bring it up to 120 feet on each side. At 120 feet on each side, it looks like you can get a clear five gigahertz connection. I wouldn't expect too much interference since this is such a rural area. So that should work really well, however, they're just trying to get internet and voice over IP to their second location so they don't have to pay for DSL. They're probably paying, I don't know, $120, $200 a month, maybe $300 a month for these DSL lines that sounds like they're bonding together or something. So how much would it cost to put in towers, 120 foot towers on both sides? So just a quick search here and we can find some like used towers for sale. Uh, here's a 110 foot tower. Let's take a look at this one. So 110 foot self-supporting tower this is a used product and it's $4,500. Okay, so let's look at another one. Here's a 120 foot self-supporting tower. Uh, this one is $6,000. Okay, so again, used but excellent condition, includes loading on a truck, comes in sections, blah, 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 blah. So this is what this tower looks like. It looks like it's already apart and uh, lying on the ground here. Now with a tower, man, that's just gonna be really ugly, right? So you're putting this in the middle of these nice rolling hills a hundred plus foot tower is just gonna look gross, right, in those hills. But if you had to do it, you could. Now here's the thing, figure, we'll average these two towers out. Say you could get two hundred plus foot towers for $5,000 each. That's just the towers, all right? You'd still have delivery. You'd probably have to have someone come and install the tower, which is gonna involve renting a big truck or crane to actually lift it into place and get the foundations and the footings poured and everything you're looking at easily, and this is not counting also hiring someone to then climb up that tower and install the access point or the station on either side and then aim them to get them pointed at each other properly. We're talking minimum, bare minimum of like $10,000 on each side to make that happen. So you figure the ROI for putting up two towers at say $20,000 or more versus paying the two or $300 a month for DSL, even though it's crappy internet, there's just the ROI just isn't there to make this work. So my recommendation here is unfortunately just stick with the DSL because that's probably going to be your best bet. 
unless you want to put up those towers, which is just going to be crazy. Now, here's the other option. If you can find a spot in the area, maybe on top of one of those rolling hills, that happens to already have a tower, you could possibly rent space at that tower. You'd have to have a uh, line of sight to at least one location, and you could sort of dogleg it up and over a hill, right? So if you said, you know, down in here somewhere, maybe this is a hill right here, and you could have a tower up there, or maybe there's already a cell phone tower or something that you would be able to rent space on. Yeah, I don't see any towers just by brushing through here. But if you could find a tower that had line of sight to both sites somewhere in the middle, then you could shoot internet up to that tower in the middle and then sort of broadcast it down to the lower locations. That's another option as well, but again, I don't have any information about where a tower might be in between these two links. All right, so there you go, a six mile point to point link that in this case probably would not work out. The ROI is just not there. If you guys have other simulations like this that you'd like me to take a look at, make sure you send those to info at crosstalksolutions.com and I may possibly make a video just like this one about your scenario. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions and thank you so much for watching.